the strange creature called a spiritual seeker in the last episode. The seekers graduate very quickly towards the next level, which I am going to call as spiritual tendencies. When the seekers achieve basic knowledge, the seeker changes completely. It cannot be reversed. The knowledge is very powerful. It changes not only the mind, it changes the complete personality, the looks and the body also. Remember, the layers are all interconnected. Change at one place shows up at many places, at various levels. So much so that even the lower layers are affected and they are purified. The knowledge acts like a medicine. This knowledge is not something which is intellectual. The intellectual knowledge is also very powerful but not as transforming as the spiritual knowledge. The behavior of a spiritual person is very peaceful. He is very stable. He is not moved by adverse conditions. It looks like as if he is in some kind of bliss. They are happy and content all the time. They are surrendered and they accept all situations. Such people are minimalist. Although they have everything that is required for a good life, they never show off. Such people are mostly egoless. In all of their behavior, the ego is absent except when it is really necessary. It seems that they are in control wherever they go. They do not lose their poise. They know exactly what to do, when to do and how to do. It does not look like that they are planning these things. The control is natural. They stay away from the society and people. They cannot mix with these people now. The society is too limited and a corrupt place. They become monks or renunciates or just simple, spiritual, non-worldly person. For them, everybody is same. From beggar to king, from a child to an old man, everybody is same. They treat everybody and even the animals with love and respect. Sometimes this equal treatment is seen as indifference because they do not cling to anybody. They are okay if something good is happening with people and they are okay if it is not so good. It is the quality of the unconditional love and ordinary people cannot understand these things. Spiritual people do not favor anybody. There is no world for them. There is no country for them. There is no caste or religion for them. They have left all that garbage behind. They are very pure. They will avoid people and they will only approach you when it is extremely necessary or when there is a spiritual matter involved. Their speech is very sweet and something which is remarkable about their speech is that they never lie. They are very truthful. And if required, they hide things. They have purified their speech also. And whenever they speak, wisdom drips from their speech. And if it is not necessary, they do not speak at all. They will talk only when it is needed. They have nothing to say. They have nothing to tell. But they will talk nicely whenever there is a question. They can talk for hours on spiritual matters. The speech is a direct reflection of our thoughts. If you could see their thoughts, they are mostly in a meditative state because of presence of awareness. Unnecessary thoughts do not occur. It is like a 24-hour meditation. And whenever there are thoughts, there are very few and of practical nature. This needs to be done, that needs to be done. This happened, that happened. The mind is not restless. It is peaceful. They do not think more than necessary. The thought has been replaced by awareness and that is the secret behind their behavior and speech that the actions and speech are happening in the light of awareness and so they have acquired this purity. There is no thought that does not mean that they cannot think. They have realized that thinking takes them to a limited destination. There is much more beyond thought there is much more beyond intellect and this can be accessed by awareness. Knowing their true nature, knowing their oneness with everything, they become equanimous and they live in this field of awareness, in this light. 
even the desires do not trouble them the equanimity is stable in the case of a spiritual person yes there can be gradations of spirituality some people are just starting like the seekers some people have achieved maturity in their spiritual practices and some are still on the way they are reaching the spiritual level so you will find uh, variations in these tendencies that i am mentioning here they will not be exact there, there is no exactness in this evaluation especially at the higher levels where the lower tendencies sometimes sometimes they mix with the higher ones and produce very very complex and interesting combinations spiritual people have no relations or even if they have they are completely detached in their relations and this also is misunderstood by ordinary people they are mostly uninterested in forming any relations and they do not stay at one place for long that reduces their chances of getting into a relation or knowing anybody intimately to almost zero their only relation is with their guru or with their teacher the guru is everything for them all the relations will break at the time of death or they keep breaking and building all the time for an ordinary person but relation with the guru will last forever and usually even in a detached state they are very friendly with everybody but the avoidance can be seen very clearly they have realized that the only relation that is possible between people is that of oneness it takes two to be related how can i be related to you if we are one this is the highest kind of relation which a spiritual person has realized and now he needs no other relation such people do not need any kind of entertainment because they are blissful all the time the entertainment actually is a distraction and sometimes they are entertained by satsang by discussion on spiritual topics sharing the knowledge our raw nature is their entertainment they feel good when they are in nature they tend to stay away from cities noise and pollution and crowd sometimes reading the scriptures is their entertainment they do not read for knowledge they read for entertainment curiosity people need entertainment because their lives are miserable so they are always running after something which can make them happy those who are equanimous they do not need anything to make them happy they are the source of happiness happiness comes from wisdom not from entertainment they have realized this like any other layer the spiritual layer and the spiritual tendencies are also limited the spiritual lifestyle is a lifestyle it has a signature the state of the awareness can come and go and of course there are people who declare themselves spiritual but they are simply faking it for whatever reason this state can also get afflicted such people because they love meditation and practices and extraordinary experiences they start ignoring their own mind and body they do not call it their own because they have seen the illusion of it so there is no more any interest there to maintain a healthy body so they may look like mentally imbalanced and the bodies they look dirty and sick can happen it is the affliction of the spiritual kind many people go into spirituality from a material life they have families they have children and when they see the truth of it all they simply dumb them they ignore their responsibilities towards the society even if a person is spiritual the person will be dependent on society for his or her survival you cannot survive well if you ignore the responsibilities but probably the hardcore spiritual people are not worried about survival even a tiny bit some people get into supernatural and they start playing with the fire of supernatural without realizing the consequences the knowledge and expanded mental capabilities they enable such kind of play and it has consequences which they do not realize because these abilities blind them some people desire powers and actually they enter the field of spirituality for nothing but powers some of them get it and then they face the consequences intense desire for power is actually an affliction it means that you have not realized that you are all powerful already 
that which demands power is the ego not the experiencer it has all the powers already so there is a little bit of defect in the realization here or you can say there is no complete realization some people suppress their desires when they enter the spiritual field and as they grow old the desires come back and they take revenge if the spiritual person is famous and this happens it creates a lot of controversy it creates headlines in the newspapers and it is surely because that person has lost his balance the old suppressed desires they have turned into mental afflictions being fake and calling yourself spiritual is already a mental affliction in, in itself some people they form cults of various kinds they love followers which is a mental affliction why would anybody who is eternally blissful want followers so those who want followers they are already falling they are already not on path some people do get followers they get powers they get a little bit of control over supernatural the result is that they become megalomaniac it is a major affliction you can read the stories you can read the history the extraordinary powers also have the ability to corrupt a person completely sometimes the megalomania is disguised as a desire to fix the world a desire to fix the entire country or do good for the people and in this disguise they do all kinds of stupid things they try to control they try to brainwash some of them they form armies and convert people forcefully kill anybody who do not agree with them do not agree with their version of spirituality in this case the spirituality is down the drain and it has been converted into a cult or a religion of some kind and now the leader is simply forcing their views on others ignorant people defenseless people there are two kinds of people in the society the first ones they hate spiritual people they are totally material in nature the second kind for some reason they respect spiritual people they want to be spiritual but they are not spiritual and they, they can see a few qualities there they want to become like a spiritual person but they cannot and these are the ones that end up following so called leaders or the gurus mindlessly even then these afflicted people they do not cause too much damage the damage is caused by marriage of religion with politics and racism and nationalism that causes biggest damage and you can see it has already happened a single crazy fellow spiritual seeker usually is totally ineffective in doing anything in the society there are exceptions and they become the great masters whom everybody remembers for many thousand years now i'm not talking about the afflicted personalities here these are extraordinary personalities and they are of the spiritual kind you will never remember a rich person you will probably forget the kings you are going to forget the beautiful and simple people but spiritual people are remembered for many thousand years even by ordinary people especially if they do something good for others you will never remember an industrialist or a scientist or a politician or the rich people in your town their names will be lost in the dirt of time but a spiritual person is beyond time nobody knows his name but they know who he is what are the suggested paths for a spiritual person and that sounds meaningless because they do not need any path they are supposed to be at the end of their path they don't need any practice they don't need any meditation these are like medicines if you are cured why do you need all these medicines why do you need a practice if you are practicing that means you are somewhere on the way you have not reached this level yet still because i just like i said there are some gradations here not all are at the highest point so sometimes in the presence of afflictions and impurities demand some kind of practice and we we call them the practices of purification and also such people they desire for liberation that is their goal to be liberated from human births at least that is their near term goal 
then you must be thinking now what can be higher than this level it looks like this is the highest for the humans and probably you are right here that once the awareness has been established completely this creature is going to graduate above humans you are no longer call them humans so i would say this is in last step in the human form but the human lineage continues there are more levels we are going to examine them in brief in coming episodes